I am Anil Kumar and we are exploring how to model the real life situation with the help of trigonometric functions. The example here is the water depth in a harbor is 15 meters at high tide and 7 meters at low tide. One cycle is completed approximately every 12 hours. If high tide occurs at 8 hours, write the equation for the water depth as function of time. So what we are given here is that the maximum is 15 meters, minimum is 7 meters, and the time period is 12 hours. Correct? We need to write a sine or a cosine function. So, and we are also given if high tide occurs at 8, write equation. So high tide is at 8. So we write maximum that is high tide at 8 hours, right? So that is what is given to us, right? Now, from here actually we can very easily get the equation. Uh, let us say that the general equation we want to write is y equals to a times cos of k times x minus phase shift plus the axis, let us call this as q. The amplitude is difference of maximum minimum divided by 2. So we can say amplitude is maximum minus minimum divided by 2 which in this case will be 15 minus 7 divided by 2 or uh, 15 minus 7 is 8 and 8 divided by 2 is 4. X is Q will be average value that is maximum plus minimum divided by 2 which is 15 plus 7 which is 22 divided by 2 gives us 11 and the K value we get from the hours which is one time period is 12 hours so 360 degrees we are working in degrees divided by 12 which is 30 correct so k value is 30 for us so we got all the values the only value which we need is p and since we know that high tide is at 8 we know p is 8 for cosine function correct so so we can write here that p equals to 8 for cosine function and based on this we can write down our equation as y equals to a is 4 cos of k is 30 right and x is our time we are using x as time in hours minus 8 since after 8 it is at maximum correct plus 11 so that is the cosine function uh, for our wave correct so very easily we can get this. Now let us actually sketch and uh, try to understand the function itself. Now I will show you a different approach which will help you to understand the scenario better. So let me just uh, make one, one sine wave to start with. Okay, I'll make it with two, two peaks. So that's easier for us to get the time period. Okay. So what we are given here is this is our peak, right? So that is another peak. And these two peaks will be apart by 12 hours, correct? 12, right? 12 hours. Since time is time period is 12 hours. Right? Now this peak occurs at 8 hours. Well, I'm not really working on, on maximum and minimum. But what we will do is we'll draw the axis, which is, okay, let me write, write it down. It will help. It will help. So let me write down maximum minimums also. Let's say this is 15 and that minimum is 7. And at 11, we have the mean value. Correct. I'm not saying this is my y-axis. This is 8 hours, okay? Now, so that is my axis at 11. Now the idea is whenever you have a sine or a cosine function, it should be divided into four parts. So that is the half, right? And then this is half of half kind of, right? So it will actually go through this, right? So it should go through this point. Correct, half of half. Now, what is this quarter of 12? 12 divided by four is three. So each is three hours 
away, right? So if this happens maximum at 8, then this point is going to happen at 11 hours. Do you see that? And this point will be 3 hours later, 14 hours, right? And this point will occur when? Plus 3, 17 hours. And then this point will occur at 20 hours. 8 plus 12 is 20. Do you get the connection? Do you see that? So 8 plus 12 is 20. Do you see that? So now if you make this kind of a connection, then my question is, what is going to be the height of the tide at 17 hours? The answer is 11. Do you see that? The answer is 11. When will it be minimum? 14 hours. Do you get the point? When will the next high tide come? 20 hours. So likewise, you can answer all related questions based on this particular question. You get the point, right? So we could also find what this point is. Since we are going three that side, we could come three this side. So five hours, correct? Now, with that, I can give you sine function for the same wave. My sine function will be what? Let me write down in ink, red ink this time. So y equals to four. All other things remain same, right? Sine of k value remains same. Only phase shift changes. It is at 5 starting going upwards. Do you see that? That is sine wave. x minus 5. Do you see how beautifully it can be done? All this is in degrees. Do you get my point? So we could write sine function for the same wave and we can actually answer so many related questions by a simple sketch which I have shown you. That is the beauty of this video. I hope you understand and appreciate it. Share with your friends and let me know if it was useful for you. Thank you and all the best.